How's it going guys? Agent here and welcome to Little Hope. This is the second game of the Dark Pictures Anthology series and I'm super excited to play it. I mentioned in the finale of Alien Isolation that it's very similar to games like Man of Medan and Until Dawn. I played both of those, loved them. I wasn't too crazy about Man of Medan, but Until Dawn was my schnitzel, bro. <laughs> I was just so attached to all of the characters. I wanted all of them to make it out alive. So I was on the edge of my seat trying to hit all those quick time events and make all of the right choices. Um, I think I did good for the most part. Maybe one or two people died, but that's besides the point. The point is, I love this interactive drama survival horror type of gameplay. Um, I'm looking forward to getting attached to the characters, fearing for their lives as if it's my own. And I think this game revolves around the Salem Witch Trials which is just such a crazy point in history and inspired a bunch of horror movies and games. I'm stoked. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop nerding out. I'll see you guys in the game. Little Hope. Ooh, okay. One of those old school diners. Roadside Diner, 9.42 p.m. present day. This guy drives a school bus? Yo, these graphics. The Wild Magic. That's a weird book to read, my dude. This is what bus drivers do when they're not driving kids around? Reading the wild magic and eating at roadside diners. Pretty sus. Watch, a deer is about to cross. He's gonna run over it. That happens so many times in like horror movies and stuff. Jesus, this guy should go to bed, man. He has kids to drive to school in the morning. Oh, what happened here? Got the sheriff rolling up. Uh-oh. Gotta get home late now. What's the problem, officer? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Oh. That's okay, sus. Buddy? I don't trust you that. Seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Oh, there's people I in the back? a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Sure. Sure, random officer. I would have at least asked, like, what was the accident, you know? What happened up there? It seems fine. There's no, like, big flames or anything. Oh, that little tune, bro. Oh, dang, there are people in the back. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest. 
and roughest. What? Are these alcoholics? I get something from holding on to this. Little Going hope. Away. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Oh! Rip. Everyone should be fine though. Bearing updated. What does that mean? A girl stood in the road, caused the bus driver to lose control, and crashed the bus. The little girl. Okay. So, okay. It's one of those games. It has a bunch of creepy children. Monsters I can handle, but little kids giggling in my ear while I'm walking through the darkness. I prefer not to deal with that. <laughs> Okay. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. Megan. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? Megan. She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Oof. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too Hold much her about back after kid. prayers? I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real Oof. low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. You didn't have to bring up how she couldn't bear a child, dude. Like... What does that have to do with anything? Not tonight. No way. Like you're not dealing with your wife tonight? Bonnie Tramp. This is January 16th. She always is these days. Uh Oh, okay. You give her a break. One of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. Oh, are you jealous? <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. All right, so this is in the past. Quit pawing at it, will you? And this is Megan? Are they all family? Or maybe that one guy is just a friend. Whoa. That's a classic. It was an accident though. There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Whoa, relax my dude. You even have the right to be saying that? All right. Well, we got some dysfunctional family. Who is this? Mary Jane, girl next door. I missed her name. Is she cold? I'm going to start climbing through the window. Tanya. The door gets fixed. Okay. Boyfriend, I guess. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Uh... Dad's been drinking? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> What a dysfunctional family, dude. Everyone's just yelling at each other. 
think she was a marine sergeant of past life. <laughs> What's crawled up his ass? This is like a foster's home? Uh, Dennis is just being Dennis, bro. It's just, just like this. Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Oh, something's gonna happen to Dennis, bro. Hey, Dennis. Oh, Megan's gonna be like, you're gonna regret yelling at me. Hey. Calling me Bigfoot. Not now, sis. I'm busy. Okay, so they are sisters. Are they all just family? Hey! Quit acting crazy! Uh, okay. And she's making a nice hot bat. <gasps> Oh. Megan, chill. Jesus. Why are you like this? You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Oh. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Megan's not having it. Megan wants to solve all these family issues in, in one day, tonight. The key? The key to what? The bathroom door? Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for <laughs> Megan. You know what I'm like? It just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Um... Go check on her. Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe she did something. Maybe you go check on her. If you don't have other plans, I'll go find her. Anthony's the only guy I like so far. Tanya's kind of cool, I guess. Didn't really do anything bad. I just don't know how reliable she is. R2 to pick up objects, R2 to examine. What is this? Is this. Are these matches? Has to be, right? Yeah. Oh, I KO'd. Oh my god, I'm so dumb, man. I really failed the first quick time event. This is not gonna be good. I don't know why. I saw X, I pressed X, bro. Alien isolation got me on edge. Uh, Tanya's checking on her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Wow, thanks, Dad. Go back to sleep. All right, check on Tanya. All right. That's upstairs, right? So... Up this way. Oh, this is really hey, cinematic. Tanya. Even when you're moving around, you it, it's still got the black lines and stuff. How's Megan doing? Don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Keep it what? Down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. <laughs> There's no respect whatsoever in this family room. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Whatever, dude. Sure. Sure. No problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. All right. And you've done nothing about it. So I gotta beat a dad around here. So you shut up. Go to sleep. Watch your team lose on TV. I'm gonna go and fix this family, bro. Wait, where the heck is? What the heck are the stairs? Do I do I not go up the stairs? What is this? Open. There's something outside. Of course, it's locked. There's a room over here on the right. Dining room. Bro, I don't know why, but I immediately thought of the dining room scene from Resident Evil Seven. If you know, you know. Oh yeah, my 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 tea or whatever. Oh. 
Okay, can't interact with that. What's this? Megan Clark. What? No days present? Days tardy. Okay, she was late a bunch of times. Absent a couple of times, even more lately. What you doing on your way to school, Megan? Oh, number of days absent. Okay, that's not no days absent. Oh my, wait. Oh, no, no days present. Oh my gosh, I can't read. All right, generally, I guess it's okay in the grand scheme of things, but she's been tardy and late. Where the hell are you? Too much for a kid Anthony, her age. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. What's up? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Why are you calling me from outside on the balcony? Oh, God, Megan's here. You could be right about my family. I think so, too. What? Tanya, what's going on? That little brat Who's your imaginary friend? It's fucking freezing. She left her doll. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Bro, this choir. It sounds like freaking Sephiroth's final theme. Shit, Megan. Oh my gosh, she's gonna burn the whole house down. It's just gonna be Anthony and Tanya who lives, I think. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Megan! Megan! Oh my gosh, Dad, you're really gonna sleep through this? Oh, rip. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! I don't know. Tanya, just jump into some snow or something. Where's Dennis, bro? He's just jamming out in the attic. He doesn't really care. Anthony! Oh, there he is. Up here! Yo, yo, yo! Slide down the roof, yeah! I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Oh, Megan. Dad, what are you doing? Wake up! Did you really just wake up now? You're ridiculous. I can't breathe! I don't think there's any hope for the mom, but the dad can maybe come out the window. Dennis can slide off or something. But is it a broken leg or your life? Oh, okay. Now you're done for. Ow. Okay. That looks painful. Rip. Oh, Vegas not gonna burn. She got her friend with her. Oh, rip. At least they can, uh, talk over their family issues in heaven or something. Help! Where are you? Oh, what? You're gonna make me choose right now? Tanya, bro, Tanya! Megan, you'll be fine. Oh my god. She's not dead, though. She's not dead. Don't look at me like that. She's not dead. Climb, climb down the the, the the pipe, the drain pipe. Get to the drain pipe and climb down. Why would you use the window? What? Is it not going back into the fire? Dude, you better live or else everyone's died. Oh my god, there's ice. Oh my god. Please do this. Please do this. <laughs> She's the bent neck lady now.
Oh, I forgot Dennis is still alive. Oh my god, everyone's dying! What are those odds? Out of everywhere you could have landed, you fell on the front gate. Oh, what's up? You hold me, neighbor. Oh my gosh. He feels so responsible now. He really ran in. Jesus, man. Alright, I'm convinced though that there was no saving anyone there. Oh, 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 death. So much death. Won't you spare me over till this is the same song um, from either Man of Medan or Until Dawn. I think Man of Medan. Oh! Oh, yeah, Will Poulter. That's the guy who played Anthony. I know him from Midsummer. He played Mark. The freaking horny college dude who wanted to screw, uh, I don't know, some Swedish girls. All right. I think this dude is going to talk to us, like, straight, like, to me through the camera and try to figure out, like, what I'm scared of, I think. It's going to analyze me. All right, this guy got his own freaking MTV music video. It's just him walking through some dark halls. I can't remember though, is this the same dude from Man of Medan? The same dude who talks to you? Who tries to get you to tell the story? Okay. There's definitely mad symbolism behind that compass. Because they use that compass in the cover art of all the games too. But I'm not an English major, so I'm not even going to attempt to figure out what that means. Probably it's just like, you know, different choices you can make. Follow your path or whatever. Okay. Oh, the same music, bro. Hello. And they always have a skull on their desk. Welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I think we did, though, but I don't I know. I am the curator. The curator. The guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. For me to tell? Alright. Which book we read in today? Little Hope, perhaps? <laughs> oh, okay. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire... No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Okay. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, it's look at the find future, out. I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. I'm ready, bro. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. <laughs> there are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. This guy's so proper, bro. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. Okay. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. 
so much death. Yep. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. I'm gonna try and minimize those. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? I guess I'm more rational. There is no right answer. Oh. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. True. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. All right. I gotta be true to myself. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. Okay. So you're like my Elgato. Most interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. Ooh, what was that? Got a little triggered. But I am. Someone told him off. Allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Right, I remember Use that. Use them. They might help you. Okay. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do? Isn't everybody dead? I guess we'll just watch the funeral from like, a, I don't know, outside outsider's point of view. Rip. Is this present day though, or back then? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. Okay. For eternity. Tanya. That's Tanya's God's grave. Loving embrace. We do know though why that happened. All oh, the poor boyfriend. It was freaking Megan. She's cursed, bro. Or influenced by something cursed. Dude, this weather just makes me extra cold, man. I think it's currently snowing and uh, raining outside in real life. And just seeing all this snow and rain in the game as well, it's just... Oof. They're gonna go back to the present now. Hey, what? Andrew. 18, college student. Anxious, detached. So, okay, he's like a freshman. The heck, where'd you wake up? In an alley? He looks just like Anthony. Maybe all the characters died and, I don't know, reincarnated? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. That's just like Tanya, no? Oh my gosh! It's the family! John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I'm guessing I Daniel's Dennis? Oh, and the mom! The mo I think Is I remember seeing the mom in the trailers, too. Hand here? Um... How's he doing? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? Maybe the cops, someone like that. I'm on it. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Oh my gosh, it's crazy how like every choice I make, they're, they're like relationship updated. Like chill, bro. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Oof. Where are we? Everything's being recorded. What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Okay, Don't I like John. A lot more comforting than the freaking dad. We're still missing two more people, I think. And I guess Megan has to be here somewhere, too. Fucking thing! Useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Okay, uh... That looks like Dennis. Uh, uh. Just about the old haircut. Daniel, 20, 
college student amiable, oh, defensive, amiable. Where are they even headed? The class? At 9 o'clock at night? 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding, Angela. It's gonna take some time to get used to these names. Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? My gosh. They're literally yelling all their names and I still haven't Taylor, learned them okay? yet, so I'm like... I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright! Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, okay. John. I like it. You're tough. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Yeah, what happened to the driver? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Maybe he did. Looks steep. Maybe he's in on it too. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Okay. Angela and Daniel on one side, everyone else hey, on the Taylor, other. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? At all? It's okay. What? You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't on we'll the find syllabus. The others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Okay. Come on, bud. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was Wait, what? Grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. We trumped that all trail, that. The others are on. We'll come or out lived down it. the road. We'll meet them there. Why leave the bus? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the bus driver? Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. All right, let's just go. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. What? Jesus. Stick close behind me. They're recording everything. John's like, I liked that. You agreed with me. Okay, now we get to move. All right, I think I'm going to stop it here. Um, this is a good place to stop. We got to, you know, live that, like, Anthony's life and see his point of view. You know, see how dysfunctional that family was. Saw Megan, that cursed child. <laughs> and, um, you know, how everyone burned down. We got to... Sit down and talk to the cur curator. Um, it was mostly just him talking to me, though, just saying a bunch of uh, smart things, making me feel sort of dumb. <laughs> and um, he woke up, and apparently everyone from the family in the past looks exactly the same like these people now. So, I don't know, maybe there's some reincarnation stuff going on. I don't know. But I'm definitely looking forward to the next one to see how everything plays out, see some actual, you know, scares. Maybe make our way to a little hope, see what's up with that. And you know, just a just a solid, solid intro. But yeah, man, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs if you liked it, sub if you're new, comment if you want me to talk with you. I'm Agent, you're awesome, those are facts, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.